Hello and welcome back to another of the Monster Girls. Actually, an inking video this time. I didn't delete everything because now I'm <laughs> learning how to use my phone. Um, this one is the Cyclops. And right now, it is the most adjusted photo I've worked on. <laughs> From beginning to end, I don't think I ever stopped adjusting it. When I did the first version of this, it was like super cutesy, and she was in a sun hat, and whatever. And then when I decided to start filming this stuff, and I was doing like the good copies, because they're all done on Bristol, um, I started changing it. I was like, no, I want this design to be a bit darker I don't want it to be so cutesy it doesn't match with the other ones like the haunted doll and the poison mushroom and that kind of thing uh so I you know I changed up the hat for a crown of skulls and as you can see here I'm still adjusting even to the stage of inking I'm still making adjustments because the story doesn't fit um that's the one thing I've read a bit of other artists saying is that every picture you draw has to tell a story and a lot of my stuff doesn't and that's something that I'm trying to learn and what I mean by has to tell a story is you look at this and it's okay what's she doing why is she doing it why is she posed like that and the, the rest of the elements kind of have to fit into that narrative. And the original one didn't have a narrative. It was just Cyclops in a cutesy pose. So when I started changing it, making it a bit darker, it was, okay, why is this pose? What do I want to do? And at first, I just had the one outstretched arm, uh, the skulls, and then the, the blood. And that felt very incomplete because it was, okay, why? So I added in the skull or the head <laughs> and uh, the torso and went, okay, well, this is why. And I made them slightly smaller than her also as a narrative of, well, how? Well, she is a cyclops. Most cyclopses are, or cyclopi? Cyclopses? <laughs> it's one of those words. Um, but most cyclopses are bigger than the average human. And um, I also changed, you can probably still see in the lines, she had like long flowing hair as opposed to the dreads I added on. And I kind of went, okay, why would a cyclops wearing a loincloth have beautiful flowing hair? Probably wouldn't. So then that's why I did the, the dreadlocks. Because A, I like the look, and B, it just, it seemed to fit. Um, oh yeah, most of my lines are done in the 03. Uh, that's my standard everything line. Um, it's, it's a nice general kind of middle of the path. Um... I use my O1 for the smaller details, like stuff in the face, or if there's something that's like a light material, or like a liquid, something that doesn't have a lot of weight to it, I'll use the smaller, uh, my smaller pen. Usually when I do inking videos, or inking in general, it's ink, erase, color, and then go back and adjust the lines. Um, I've been trying to, to vary my uh, my ink work so that I've got tapered lines and uh, thin lines and things like that stuff to show to show weight and movement. And that was a bit different for me uh, to do it at the same time instead of afterwards. But I really like the way it looked. Um, I'm trying to improve my ink work. Oh, I'm just trying to improve in general. Um, so this project is awesome because it is letting me explore new styles and new things. And 
just try and get uh, a look at it because I do post all the stuff to Instagram and I've been getting a lot of popular res- or popular positive responses so I figure I'm not doing too bad I was a little concerned at first about um, (laughs) the style of drawing and what it is, especially with, you know, everybody cracking down on illegal things online. Not that this is illegal, but we all know, um, you know, boobs are evil. (laughs) But I figured, oh well, I'll just throw caution to the wind and do it anyways. Because I like this drawing. Uh, I've had a lot of positive responses to it. And it's helping me to improve my style. So if anybody doesn't like it, it's very easy to stop watching. Well, on that note, um, I will leave this video and let everybody finish watching it. There's not too much left, so I don't want to run out of time. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you guys appreciate my work, or if you want to keep watching my videos, uh, how would you give a like and subscribe? And just keep tuning in to watch me do what I do and basically talk out of my ass. So, thank you everybody very much, and I will see you next week.